Oh yes, football and Brits, also known as soccer, go together like salt and pepper, peanut butter and jelly, even fish and chips. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kay Jordy. I'm an American in London, going over the nuances between the US and the UK and all culture in between. And today I have to find out why do Brits love football? But first, let's do a quick history about it. The history of football in the UK is rich and fascinating, stretching back centuries. The earliest forms of football, known as folk ball, were played in medieval England. These games were often chaotic and very violent, with very few rules and large numbers of players. The modern game began to take shape in the 19th century. In 1863, the Football Association, also known as the FA Cup, was founded in England establishing the first set of standardized rules for the sport. This was a pivotal moment as it helped transform football from a disorganized pastime into a structured and widely popular sport. Football quickly became integrated in the British culture, with clubs forming across the country and competitions like the FA Cup, which began in 1871. The sport's popularity continued to grow, leading the establishment of professional leagues and the global phenomenon of football today. And nowadays, it captures the hearts of all geezers and lads all around. And that leaves me with, after all these years, why is football still so prominent? Let's get into it. Real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my mom for being a cameraman for today. She's visiting in London, so anything you see is filmed with this pretty lady right here. What is this infatuation with football and where that stem from? We made it. <laughs> oh, so we do believe we created it. Because it's like a way for men to bond with each other without talking about their feelings. <laughs> oh my god. In the pubs, like the lads culture. The lads. With the no, m English men are repressed, okay? English oh my god. Are, like they're so repressed. I think it's definitely a cultural thing, especially like white middle-aged men. It's very like, very masculine for yeah. them to enjoy. Football. Football, come on England, do you know what yeah. I mean? In yesteryear, the yeah. mended with sons and there was a lot of history in the family yeah. between yeah. sons and dads for sure. It's about everything really, the atmosphere. It's everything really. It's, it's like, everything. It's people. the best sport. Yeah, it's the best sport. Oh, hands down the best sport. Hands down. I don't know, I think here like when it's football, yeah. it's like the lads go out together that's and it's bonding. just like, yeah, exactly. So like, that's their outlet. You know yeah. most like traditional English families like don't say I love you to each other, like all that. What? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 no. Like, it's all like, yeah. Yeah, do you think we care about American football more than Brits care about soccer, or, or no? Americans do like football, but they, there's so many more sports to, uh, you know, enjoy. But for the Brits, they only have soccer. That's cap. Taylor knew that. That's cap. I, I accuse you of capping. No, real only have they soccer. Only have, that's that's all what? I care about. You know what? That maybe is true. Cricket, maybe cricket. Maybe but, a little, little bit of rugby here and there. Yes, but it's soccer. They it, banned football in the UK. What would genuinely happen? Social barriers are coming back up. Yeah. Football is an equalizer. All sports, really. Back. Certain feeling that they have, Back. you know, that brings a family together, especially for the boys, 100%. for the masculine. Yeah, every answer I've gotten so far has been, oh, it's because it's such, such a man's sport. Ah, you know? yeah, it's very that. Okay. It's very like caveman. Yeah. Like, bring it back, let's yeah. let's go, let's get to it. It's like, get the football right, come on, kick-ups. You're like, all right, mate, it's all good. Everyone's football crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, come on, England, you can do yeah. better than this. Just about, just about to ask. Right. See, now that, that's Is it coming that. home? Be honest. Honestly? Do you think it's coming home? No. <laughs> Yes, it's yes, coming home. Do, okay, do you guys genuinely believe that, or is it? Mm, not sure. <laughs> so it might, it might be coming Maybe. home. Maybe always come. You home. Never know. You never you know. Never know. Probably, I would say yes, yeah, coming home. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Bro, they tied Slovenia, bro. They tied Denmark, and they barely beat Serbia. You always gotta have hope. <laughs> you always have hope. I think that we've definitely got the the talent oh, to man. do it. We've got the potential. But can I tell you, yeah, last yeah. night watching the game, the negativity of the commentary yes. made me want to mute it. They seem to be relishing in them not doing well. Exactly. And I think I don't know. Maybe that's just a little bit representative of what everything else going on in the country. But I think get behind them. Good energy creates good energy. Facts. How bad would you want England? to win the Euros? Oh, like, fucking bad. Like, like, like bad, bad. We're talking about, like, yeah, a million times. Man. If you were to celebrate, if either to give a beer or if soccer boosts their football, they would rather give a beer. That's true, you and know? that's saying a lot. That's a good point. I'm gonna go ask them. What would you do if I gave you a chance? If England won the Euros three times in a row, but you have to give up alcohol? Um, Not one beer in your life. Would you do it? I don't even like alcohol that much, but yeah, I prefer alcohol, man. Clock that was ticking in my heart. Change my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> like, oh, 
that's crazy. Yeah. My man said he wants England to win, but wants the alcohol. No, nah, it's, it's always good to have like a couple of pints with your friends and stuff. I of course. Still keep my personal choice. So they're in control of their destiny. I'm in control of mine. So you go win your game and I'll have a drink to celebrate. But you got to choose one though. I'm having a drink at the event when I want to have a drink. Oh. Okay. But if I had to pick. You got to pick one. You know, Raya! If I had to pick, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'm I'm picking my drink. Sorry, England. Yeah. I'm always oh, picking me. I'm yeah. always picking yeah. me. Yeah. Put you first. I'm putting me first. Not me only, but me first. So <laughs> England, look after you. I'll look after me. And hopefully we can all win. All right, let's go. Oh.